As someone who uses a MacBook every single day for scripting, editing, planning and content creation, I'm always on the lookout for tips and tricks that will make my workflow smoother and faster. In today's video, I'm sharing 12 incredibly useful MacBook tips and features, a mix of fresh updates and underrated tools that every Mac user should know about. And I've upgraded my desk setup to the sleek new Desky sit stand setup. More on that coming soon. So now let's get started. Let's start with something simple and then we'll build our way up. It's simple yet insanely powerful spotlight search. Just press command plus spacebar to bring up spotlight search. You may already use it to search and open an app like this. But did you know that you can directly type in a website and it'll open it up directly in your default browser? You can check the weather, do quick math or even convert currencies. Two of my favorites, Spotlight even understands natural language. So I can type something like photos from January 2025 and it'll show up all my pictures from January. Or I can type something like lunch with Gautam next Friday at 2 p.m. and it'll automatically open that event in the calendar for me. It's honestly one of the fastest way to get things done on your Mac without breaking your workflow. If you're not already using it daily, start now. If you're into multitasking or working with two apps side by side, this one's a must. Just hover over the green button at the top left corner of any window and you will see the option like tile window to left of the screen or right of the screen. Click one and the Mac OS will neatly snap that window to one half of the screen. Then just select a second app for the other half. Perfect for writing while researching, editing videos while referring to a script, or even watching YouTube while pretending to be productive. And yes, it works beautifully on external displays too. But before we dive into more tips, I want to take a minute to thank Desky for sponsoring this part of the video. Desky has made a huge difference in my daily workflow and this is my new desk setup. This used to be my previous desk setup, dangling cables, messy, wires all over. Even though it was a standing desk, I couldn't really use it that way because of pulling cables and stuff. Thanks to Desky, this is my new setup. Clean, minimalist, aesthetic and cable free. I spend hours editing, scripting, filming and planning at my desk and this setup has really helped me stay organized and comfortable throughout the day. The build quality is amazing. My previous standing desk wasn't sturdy enough when it was at the standing height. This one, even when I rise it to standing height, which I do a few times a day now, it stays completely stable. Doesn't wobble, no noise, and I feel confident putting three monitors and expensive gears without fear. Since it has dual motors, the up-down motion is also very smooth and super silent. Another big plus for the Desky Desk, it's a modular system where you can pick and select the legs, the tabletop, the accessories and cable management as per your liking. I got the Walnut Hardwood Tabletop 72 inches by 30 inches. It's large enough to easily hold three monitors. If there is one accessory I would highly recommend is, it would be the cable management. It sits underneath the tabletop and hides all my cables nicely. This is before and this is after. There's even an option to include extra power points within the cable management, which will give you three more power points, a USB-C and USB-A ports. I have one more accessory to show you. It's the Desky desk mat. I use the Apple keyboard and Apple trackpad and a Logitech mouse. This mat doubles as a mouse pad for my Logitech MX Master Mouse, providing a smooth surface for my mouse and protecting my desk from any scratches or damage. The design complements the desk so well, giving the whole setup a more polished, organized feel. It comes with a controller which can be used to increase and decrease the desk height. It also has four memory buttons. I use two, one for sit position and one for stand position. If you're sharing the desk with someone else, they can use the other two. 
It has a timer function to remind you to stand. The best part is it connects to your phone through the Desky app. You can set the height of the desk through your phone, but more importantly, you can also use voice commands to set the height as well. The assembly was super simple too. It took maybe an hour to put it all together and I needed some extra help only when I had to bring the tabletop to its position. It's one of those things that you don't realize you need it until you have it. And now I can't imagine working without it. This desk is definitely worth checking out. I'll leave all the details below in the description. Now let's get back. Now back to Mac OS tips. This tip is very simple, but I use it all the time. To view the contents of a file like a photo or a PDF, you don't need to open the file each time. Just select any file, could be a photo, PDF, video, even a spreadsheet, and then press the space bar. You will get an instant preview without even opening the app. It's perfect for skimming through large folders, checking image details, or reviewing documents quickly. And if you want to open the file from there, just hit enter. Oh, this one's a hidden trick that can really speed up things. Hot corners. Head over to system settings, desktop and dock, hot corners, and you will see you can assign actions to each corner of your screen. For example, move your cursor to the top right corner and instantly trigger settings or use bottom left to lock your screen in one swipe. It's a simple tweak, but I think it becomes very useful when you don't want to clutter your desktop with apps or even while you're working on something. It's very easy to navigate and a cool gesture to start using. I take a lot of screenshots on a daily basis. I used to use command plus spacebar type screenshot and then take a screenshot. Now I know three amazing macOS shortcuts to take screenshots, which has sped up my workflow a lot. The first one is when you press command plus shift plus three, it automatically takes a full screenshot without needing to you giving any further permission. The next shortcut is command plus shift plus four. You can see this cursor change to this. Now you can manually select a portion and hit enter to take a screenshot of that particular portion. The next shortcut is command plus shift plus five. This opens up a full screenshot toolbar with more options. Here you can record your screen, choose specific windows or even set a timer. Once you capture your screenshot, your screenshot shows up in this corner. Click to edit, annotate, or you can also share it instantly. This is one of those gestures that makes using your MacBook with magic trackpad very easy. The drag with three finger gesture on macOS is a super useful accessibility feature that lets you move windows around just by gliding three fingers on the trackpad without needing to press and hold the trackpad to drag. To do this, first enable three finger drag by going to system settings, accessibility, point to control, trackpad options, and turn on use trackpad for dragging. Once it's on, you can move windows around just by dragging them with three fingers like this and drop it on to other screen or move around like this. No need to click and hold. It feels super natural and if you do a lot of multitasking like I do, it really speeds up things. There are a few more gesture controls for MacBook trackpads. Pinch with four fingers like this. This gesture takes you straight to your desktop or home screen, clearing away all open windows. Similarly, if you reverse the pinch or spread four fingers apart, this brings you right back to the app you were working on. It's such a smooth way to quickly switch focus, perfect for content creators, students, or anyone juggling multiple apps. Pinning apps to your dock is a great way to keep your most used apps within easy reach. No need to search for them every time. Here's how to do it. Open Launchpad or Spotlight. Find the app you want to add. Drag the apps icon from Launchpad to your dock. Similarly, if you want to pin something from Finder, you can drag and drop that too. But 
Did you know that you can pin a web page from Safari to the doc too? In Safari, open the website you want to save as a web page, click File, Add to Doc in the Safari menu, name it however you like, and click Add. I personally keep Safari Mail and my go to productivity apps right on the deck for easy access. Mission Control is a built in feature on your Mac that provides an overview of all your open windows and desktop. It allows you to quickly see everything running on your Mac, making it easier to switch between apps or organize your workspace. To activate Mission Control, Press F3 on your keyboard or swipe up with three fingers on your trackpad like this. Once you trigger Mission Control, you will see a bird's eye view of all your open windows and you can even manage different desktop or virtual workspace. This is especially useful if you are juggling between multiple apps or tasks like editing a video while keeping your notes and research open. If your desktop quickly becomes a cluttered mess of files like this, don't worry, macOS has a neat solution called Stacks. This feature automatically organizes your files into neat, tidy groups by type, such as documents, images, PDFs, and more. To enable Stacks, right-click anywhere on your desktop, select Use Stacks. Once you do this, your files will be grouped by their type, making it easier to find what you need without having to sift through a mess of icons. Cool, isn't it? If you prefer speaking over typing, dictation is a quick and convenient feature on your Mac. You can dictate your thoughts and your Mac will transcribe them into text in any app that allows text input. To enable dictation on your MacBook, press the microphone key F5 if available or click the function key twice. Now start speaking, it'll automatically transcribe your speech into text. This is a huge productivity booster. Similarly, if you press the function key once, you will get the smiley tab and a range of smileys that you can choose from. If you want to save time by opening your favorite app automatically when you start your Mac, right click on the app Select Options, open at Login. You can also manage this in System Settings, General, Login, Items to Add or Remove Apps from Startup. This is a great time saver, especially for apps that you use every day like Calendar or Task Manager. Want to watch a video while doing other things? With Safari's picture-in-picture, picture, you can pop out videos and float them over other apps. To do this, right-click twice on a video in Safari, select Enter Picture-in-Picture. Picture. This lets you keep your video playing while you work, browse or switch apps without interrupting your view experience. And that's a wrap. I hope these shortcuts and features help streamline your workflow and make your Mac experience even better and these tips will definitely level up your daily tasks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Also check out Desky Sit Stand Desk Setup if you are looking to elevate your workspace as well. I'll leave a link in the description for you. Let me know in the comments which tip you'll be using first or if you got any other cool Mac OS tricks that you swear by. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.